very quickly, Omicron uh, will be get, be get, be get, be the, be the dominant uh, variant in the United Kingdom and probably the rest of the world. We've seen this movie before. My body, my choice. Kent variant, then of course Delta. Uh, one of the obviously advantages we have is we've got a very large capacity for testing and of course genome sequencing, hence why we know so much. Is it more infectious? Yes. Uh, the second question, do the vaccines work? Well, we know now, and some data was published over the last uh, uh, 48 hours, that uh, two doses of either Pfizer or AstraZeneca are not enough. They only protect to about 30%, AstraZeneca even less than that. But a booster does raise that protection back up to where we were when we got to equilibrium. <laughs> <laughs> between vaccine mm -hmm. efficacy and Delta. Um, and we need to get back to that. So this is going to be a national endeavour. We need to vaccinate with a third jab, the booster jab, so important, all those people who become eligible, all adults, because it is now a race uh, between the booster and that protection and the Omicron variant. <laughs> People of Earth, I am Lure of the planet Omicron Persei. We are transitioning this virus from pandemic to endemic, but there are you know, big bumps in the road. And this is a, a big bump, a huge bump in the road in the sense that we now have a, a variant that is so infectious that it will um, dominate and, of course, exponentially grow. That even if it's milder, say by 50% milder than Delta, the numbers are huge. It's a small percentage of a very large population. That is the big difference. Um, so the reason we're taking these proportionate, I think, uh, precautionary measures, uh, the most significant of this, by the way, that scientists uh, uh, tell us is the work from home. That will have the greatest impact on slowing down Omicron. Um, so, hence why we've had to take these measures. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha,